Like Maya Angelou said, when people show you their booty crack, don't give them another chance to end up showing you their booty hole. Hello my sugar bingo bingas, welcome back to my channel. Now you will hear some because the renovations are still on going, so please bear with me. I will try to talk over them, but I also don't want to burst your eardrums, so let's just work together, all right? Now, as most of you know, I celebrated my birthday on the 10th of August. I celebrate my birthday every single day. Like, Lenyanga, am August is my month, but also every single day, is my day. I make it a point to make the most of each day regardless of what I'm going through because I do realize that every second is a gift and we are living on borrowed time. So I'm gonna be unboxing and showing off some of my gifts not to flex or anything but I just want to celebrate the people who celebrate me. Also a special shout out to everybody who wished me a happy birthday. I truly love and appreciate you. You have no idea how much that means to me. If you know me you know that birthdays are everything to me. Birthdays are so meaningful to me and that is why I make it a point to never ever forget anybody's birthday i mean ever if you know me you know how are you texting me at this hour you're supposed to be busy you're supposed to be at work you're supposed to be doing a b c and d you're supposed to be sleeping you're always the first one why because birthdays are significant this is a particular day that god and your mighty ancestors conspired. But you are going to grace this planet with your presence. I mean, people say it's not important. And I'm not trying to bash anybody for not believing in what I believe in. I respect your opinion. I respect your beliefs. All is well. But personally, if you're going to be in my life, you ought to understand how important birthdays are to me. And you ought to understand that I will always celebrate you. You ought to understand that I will always show up for you. And I'm done saying, no, I'm going to show up for people and I'm going to celebrate them. And I'm going to always be there for people, even if they're not there for me. I'm going to do good and I'm not going to expect anything in return. Nope. Time is up. Or bigger person ushonile you will reciprocate my energy you will show up for me like i show up for you and like you show up for your other friends and family members you will celebrate me when i ought to be celebrated you will take note of things that are important to me you will take note of my love languages and you will give me the same pure positive godly energy that i give you or you will get cut off. That's the bottom line. With that said, special shout out to Christy, who happens to be one of my associates. Not only did she show up for me on my special day, but she also came with a beautiful bouquet of flowers that was accompanied by a note written, Dear Zanny, wishing you a super special birthday. Love, Christy. Thank you so much, Christy. You know, I thanked you countless times while you were here and after you had left, but I need you to understand just how much I appreciate you. I appreciate the thought and the effort that went into this gift. Next, I want to send a special shout out to Sarah who blessed me with this gift bag that is full of goodies. One of those goodies happens to be this amazing Moroccan conditioner it is everything i actually used it to achieve this beautiful sexy look and i am just obsessed i am obsessed thank you so much sarah she also gave me a whole lot of chocolate chocolatey chocolate Chop, 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 chocolate. Thank you so much, Sarah. I truly, truly appreciate you. Next, we have my sweet love, Amanda, who gave me, well, it just arrived, so it's like a young belated birthday present. And one thing about Amanda, she knows me, okay? She gave me these cute little hairpins 
gold with pearls and diamonds. That is my girl. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. We are guys. E bling bling. This woman knows me. This lady knows me. This queen understands the assignment. All right. Not only that. With this beautiful headband. I wish I rocked it today. But the outfit that I got myself. Gucci on my coochie. Does not permit. So I'll wear it next time. I'll be sure to wear it while filming one of my videos. How beautiful. How gorgeous. Ooh, I sung Fanel. I sung Fanel. Thank you, Amanda. I love you. I love you. I love you. Oh, there's a note. There is a note, and outside it is written Zanny Zan Zan Zan. Let's hear what Amanda has to say. This is so dope because I'm only seeing it now. I literally got it like minutes ago minutes before i started shooting all the other gifts i got on my birthday or the day before which was women's day so everything just worked out perfectly and i figured why not why not shout out and celebrate the people who shout me out and celebrate me you know reciprocate the energy the positive energy that is oh this is handmade how beautiful the effort, the time, the energy, my goodness. <sighs> Friends truly are family that we get to choose. And I'm so glad that we have that opportunity in life because we all know how crappy family can be so i'm so grateful for my friends my associates and my subscribers my followers you guys are amazing you guys were posting me up sapa sapa left right and center you were dming me you were commenting on my posts you guys remembered my birthday while some of the people i considered as friends and family and loved ones forgot you guys were the first ones to wish me a happy birthday. And I just, I can't thank you enough. I can't thank you enough. You are my family. You are the chosen ones. So the message in the card reads as follows. My dear Zanny, I'm so sorry that I couldn't make it to your birthday party, but the kids and I picked out a few items for you and we are certain that you will absolutely love them. Please continue to shine to grow, to glow, to blossom, and continue making us proud. We are super excited for you. Love you always. From Amanda, Anna, Josiah, Kaya, and Abby. Thank you so much. Ooh. Thank you so much, you guys. You, ooh, you know. You know know the vibes i appreciate you amanda i appreciate you my babies you mean the world to me and of course the king i bought myself these beautiful earrings i actually bought myself a lot of accessories i love bright shiny beautiful Things. I also love nice things. Yes, hunting was him nandi. Hence, I bought myself these earrings. Girl, it's just your S E X. Take a deep breath and think before you let it go. Who remembers that song by Life Jennings? Woo! I also bought myself these gorgeous shoes from Glam Exports. How fine, how divine. This is on a young kind of black again. Color ya manyora. Just perfect i also bought myself these beautiful sexy gold and nude shoes also from glam exports they are the biz na ye and last but certainly not least my lover for life bought me these let's unbox them yo oh, yazin yazin i'm so blessed Bought me these lovely awful, awful Nike sneakers that I can work out in. You know what? 
in Dotamaibe thoughtful. I've been saying that I want to start working out and being consistent when it comes to just taking care of myself and my health. And he listened. He listened. He was very thoughtful in everything that he got me. And sometimes, you know, you'd be chilling, going through some things and you'd be like, Ooh, this shoe is dope. I might just buy it one day. And is listening. thoughtful. And that's exactly the type of man I have because I had been saying, Oguti, I want to try out Okanda Ganda slash Bamba's Ferb with Balenciaga. And guess what he did? He came through for his boo. These shoes are beautiful. Just Everything, everything I've ever wanted. The color, umroko, umroko. Gangan, shom, shalos, skipan, utsaikale. Oh, I get to pillow when winter is a win. Ziash, showcase. Which brings me to as if he hadn't already done too much. He goes and he outdoes himself. As per norm, and he gets me this iPhone 12 Pro Max. Okay, 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 okay. Nizo commenting. Nizo commenting. I'm using an Android right now. I've been using my Samsung S20 Ultra to take pictures, to take videos. Bugasi crisp. Ganjan, people with the latest iPhones ask for my phone whenever they need to take a picture. So I really don't get this competition between iPhones and Androids. Magroka, we are roka, guys. Like, why are we being classist? You know, if you want an Android and you're happy with its features and it works for you, it's convenient for you, stick to your Android. There's nothing wrong with that. And if you love your iPhone and you're happy with it, why look down on the next person? Because there are dope Androids out there. There are Androids, Ashapa iPhones 10 Noto, like this one. This one that I'm using right now, but I absolutely appreciate my gift. I know this phone is also the bomb dot com. I do not take it for granted. I actually can't wait to explore it. I've been quite curious. I also wanted to see what is the hype surrounding this particular phone. Now I'll get to Shaya Ngapanangapa explore my Android as well as my iPhone 12 Pro Max. And remember, no matter what phone you have, as long as you can do whatever you need to do, whatever you want to do, you are winning. Don't let the pressure get to you to the point where you end up doing weird, disgusting-ish to get a particular phone. Uh-uh, uh-uh. It's really not that deep, guys. Like, stop it. Anywho, once again... Thank you, thank you, thank you to each and every person who celebrated me. It's really the thought that counts, the time, the energy, the effort you put into making someone's day special. That really does mean a lot. It takes 10 seconds, 6, maybe even 3 if you're like a really fast texter to just write happy birthday to someone who means something to you. And yes... I know that people get busy. I know that life happens. I know that people are going through stuff and sometimes they are blindsided and on your birthday maybe something tragic happens to that person or to someone super close to them and they need to tend to that. But decency guys have the decency to reach out to your loved one and say I'm sorry I missed your birthday this and this happened. Ubuntu. I would never ever forget it birthday your mundu engim tandayo. You have one job and that is to celebrate them just this one time. It takes a few moments to reach out and say something to your loved one if you truly do value them. If you know how important and meaningful a particular day or a particular thing is to them, you reach out out to them you show up for them you show them that you're there you care and they mean something to you that's what friends do that's what family does 
If I ever miss your birthday, it's because you never told me when your birthday was. Probably because you don't see them as significant. Sometimes you'll push and push and you'll ask someone, when's your birthday? And they'll be like, oh, don't worry about it. I don't celebrate it. Perhaps because it reminds them of something bad that happened to them. It may arouse certain traumas, so they just treat it as any other day. Many people have different beliefs. Some people are just like, don't worry about it. As long as you're my friend all day, every day, you don't need to acknowledge this particular day. That's cool. Remember, these are conversations that need to be had between people who love each other. Regardless of whether their relationship is platonic or romantic. The only people I excuse for not celebrating me on my birthday are Jehovah's Witnesses. My friends who happen to be Jehovah's Witnesses who've communicated that we don't celebrate this and that day. This, that and the third is insignificant to us. It is our religious belief and I respect that because they communicated it and they told me, understand that we celebrate you every single day, every single day moment and every jehovah's witness associate of mine is literally like that they celebrate me every day they reach out to me they're consistent i feel the love on the daily unlike umuntu ozo tula for months on end for years never showing up for you never celebrating you yet they expect you to celebrate them or even if they don't expect you to celebrate them on their special day or on their birthday because it doesn't mean much to them having the knowledge that this means so much to you and you're my friend you're my sister you're my cousin you're my daughter you're my niece you're my whatever means that you have to show up for them you know that celebrating my birthday is one of my many love languages and trust me i would never come down hard or cut off someone who's consistent in showing me that they care for me they love me and they're always there for me the same way that i'm always there for them i wouldn't come down hard on you or cut you off just by forgetting my birthday this one time because i know as previously mentioned i know that life happens and people get overwhelmed by a b c and d but i'm talking to the people who never show up for us the same way we show up for them enough is enough and for me the final straw is when you forget my birthday and you don't even have the decency to come back to me a day after a few days after a week after a month after to say yo cho me or yo siswami ish giflo pile i'm sorry this is what happened. Happy belated. Bloody, bloody, blah. Yet they have the audacity to ask you for things. Yet they have the audacity to expect you to show up for them, to help them, to celebrate them on their special days. What did you do when I needed you? Guys, we're writing for people who write for us. We're showing up for people who show up for us. We're no longer watering dead plants. We're no longer begging you to love us back. We're no longer begging you to reciprocate our pure energy. We're no longer spreading ourselves thin and bending over backwards for people who don't do the same for us enough is enough and oftentimes we talk about how this that and the third fails us but we never talk about how our culture as a people fails us we are taught uguti umdeni umdeni family is family no matter what don't cut them off usuga kute nomnganakho You've been friends for years with so and so. You can't just cut them off because they forgot your birthday. I sure can. I sure can. They didn't forget my birthday. In most cases, they don't forget. They relax. People relax. People get too comfortable receiving all the time, yet they never give. And there's a verse in the Bible that says something along the lines of uh -uh. 
I shall create my boundaries and I shall stick to them no matter how much that upsets you. I will not continue to give and give and give without getting anything in return. You will no longer continue to take and take and take and drain me. Meanwhile, you have nothing to give. And I'm not just talking about material things. I'm talking about energy. I'm talking about love. I'm talking about time. I'm talking about the effort that people put in to show you that you matter. To show you that they love you back. And the one time I ever missed a loved one's birthday, keyword, missed because I didn't forget. I thought about it the moment I woke up and I was like, as soon as I get back, I'm video calling so and so and I'm going to celebrate them and I'm going to give them all my positive energy and I'm going to make sure they feel all my love. But just as I was about to call them and wish them a happy birthday and celebrate them, I got a notification telling me that my dad had passed away and that just ruined everything. I wasn't going to video call someone in that state. I didn't want to dampen their mood. I didn't want to make their day sour because they would have noticed that something is off and they would have asked me about it. And because I don't lie, I would have had to tell them the truth. Now I've ruined their special day. So I decided, no, I'm not going to do this now. I'm going to talk to them as soon as I feel better because right now I'm a mess and I really don't want to ruin things for anybody else. And I got back to them a couple of days later and I said, so and so, happy belated birthday. I love you. I gave them everything that I had planned to give them on their special day. And they said, my goodness, I was so disappointed. Part of me was actually very angry with you because I was like, this is so unlike you. If there's a friend who makes sure that they show up for me, it is you. And you're always the first one. You even beat my family members when it comes to such things. So I felt like, what happened? What did I do wrong? I started to question myself as well as our friendship. And I told her, no, trust and believe we are all good. I just didn't want to ruin your day because on that day, which happens to be your birthday, I lost my dad. And she was like, oh, she was mind blown because she had no idea. And I chose not to tell her until her day had passed. And she was like, dude, the fact that you're even thinking of wishing me a happy belated birthday right now, like during the funeral preparations even, like you didn't even have to. If you just decided to focus on yourself and your healing and you just didn't get back to me until even next year because what happened is tragic and I really wouldn't have expected you to get back to me especially so soon now that I know what happened my goodness I'm so sorry she apologized for expecting me to wish her a happy birthday and I was like no don't that's what friends do and if they do miss your birthday they ought to apologize Kuba, there's that thing man Kuba, another thing you're going to know man you miss so-and-so's birthday. And every time it's someone's special day, there's like an alarm that goes off within me, within my heart that says, yo, it's so-and-so's big day or special day or birthday, whatever it is, I know my people and I know what's important to them. And I have to make sure that I celebrate it. I have to make sure that I show up for them. I have to make sure that they feel my love in abundance, particularly on that day. But if it so happens that for whatever reason, it doesn't happen on that day, I need to be a decent friend. I need to be a decent relative and I need to apologize and make up for it. And that is why I choose to no longer accept scraps. And that is why I choose to no longer accept the bare minimum. If you consider yourself a friend, a family member, a loved one, then you will show up for me. You will treat me the same way I treat you. And if you don't want to get cut off, don't do cut off worthy things. Don't be phony. Don't be fake. Don't only pop up out of the blue when you need something. And I wore this blue because I wanted to talk about how people just pop up out of the blue only when they need something from us. Yet they never pop up when we need them. And this goes for children as well. If you have a phone and we communicate and you view yourself as my child, my niece or my nephew, don't only show up for me and show me that you love me and care about me or you miss me only when you want something. 
Remember that this sister, this friend, this aunt of yours always shows up for you and they never ask you for anything. Also, take note of how people show up for you versus how they show up for other people. Because one was oh, I'm me, and then they'll expect you to just move on with your life and continue to show up for them and continue to celebrate them and continue to do A, B, C, and D for them. Yet, whichever other favorite friend of hers or his, trust and believe they will show up for them. They will post them 50, 11, 10 times on their birthday. They'll even spend their last cent to buy them a gift. Oh, it's not a big deal. Or Omonjo just goes AWOL on you. A friend of yours or a relative of yours just ghosts you. And they come back after a year or two asking for something. And then when they don't get what they want, when they want it, and when they realize that boundaries have been created, you're the bad person. Where were you when I needed you? Never have I ever asked for much. I've never asked a single soul for money. Ever. Yet there are people who have the gall, the audacity. Sibiti satau. Sibiti sato. There are people who fail to take a mere three seconds out of their busy day to send a text to their loved one. Yet they have the nerve to come back to you after a couple of months, after a couple of years, asking you for something. And you're supposed to be readily available for them. You're supposed to give it to them when they want it. It's gotten to a point where I don't care what you are to me. Water is sometimes much thicker than blood. A friend and a family member to me is a person who reciprocates the amazing, the pure, the godly energy that I give them. A friend and a family member to me is a person who loves me and shows me that without fail. I am on of moya. Not somebody who wrongs me, then has the nerve to go around bad-mouthing me. And just because I've given you countless second chances and you've gotten away with it for years, doesn't mean it will continue. Kwanele. I'm no longer a little girl anymore. I'm a grown woman and I get to hire, fire and demote people accordingly. This is my life. And if you're not going to shape up, then ship out. I was really touched when one of my subbies tweeted, birthdays used to mean so much to me. But this one time, I decided not to post. You could see, oh, happy birthday to me. Because when you post, I mean, you're reminding those who've forgotten that, oh, it's so-and-so's birthday. Let me quickly send them a lousy text. Right? But when you keep quiet, which is exactly what I did this time around, when you keep quiet, your friends and your true family members shall be revealed. What does that mean? Ask me. It happened to me this time around. And I made it a point to do that because I wanted to see who's actually for me and who's just there. Just because... My subby even went as far as saying, when I didn't post that, it's my birthday today, people just went Psh, silent on me. And that made me realize that birthdays aren't as important as I thought they were. No, they are. Don't second guess yourself. Don't second guess what's important to you because of the vile and foul actions of the people around you. Get rid of that cancer. They are cancerous. Cut them off. Trust me, you will have people who will celebrate you, who will show up for you the same way you show up for them. And they reveal themselves to me. And it made me realize that these are the people that I need to focus on. These are the people who matter because I matter to them. It didn't make me think, oh no, I guess my birthday isn't important. I guess birthdays just aren't that significant if everybody's going to forget them. No, there are people who will always be in your corner if you are a decent human being. So I didn't post on WhatsApp 
Uguti, it's my birthday today. Mind you, my WhatsApp has the most important people to me. The only people I have on WhatsApp and the only people who have me on WhatsApp are the most important people to me or just stalkers whose numbers I've actually deleted, but they just refuse to let go. I will continue showing you flames, but I'm just talking about the people that I'm aware of who are on my WhatsApp and who I choose to keep. Those are the most important people in my life. Let me tell you, 10 of them, 10 of them out of the hundreds that I'm keeping said happy birthday without being reminded by my WhatsApp post. Mind you, I left the birthday notification on on Facebook. So they saw it. They just didn't want to wish me a happy birthday. I didn't deserve that small anyana three second text. I was posting on Instagram. When my other friends and family members were posting me and celebrating me, I'd post. It was, ah, oh, so-and-so posted this. Thank you so much. And they'd view. Same people that I value. And who are so important to me, they get to stay on my WhatsApp. They viewed my posts. They continued to keep quiet. And I thought to myself, maybe tomorrow, maybe they'll wish me a belated birthday. Let's say they just saw it and they're like, ah, I'll reach out to her later. They'll get back to me, surely. Till today, nothing. Call me spicy, call me petty, but I refuse to celebrate people who do not celebrate me. I'm going to keep track. I'm going to keep records of people who wished me a happy birthday, who showed up for me, who reached out to me, who celebrated me. And if you're not one of them, no matter how big you think the space you hold in my heart is, trust and believe I will reciprocate the energy you gave me. If you dare question me, I will block you. So let's respect each other. Don't expect what you can't give. And you know, it's so important to inform someone when you no longer want to be a part of their life. But I understand that not everybody has those guts. Some people are just cowardly. So the best way to do that is by showing you. I'm jumping off the ship. I no longer want to be your friend. I no longer want to be your relative. Therefore, I will pretend to have forgotten special days and things that are meaningful to you so that you can actually cut me off like Maya Angelou said when people show you their booty crack don't give them another chance to end up showing you their booty hole people show you who they are people show you what you mean to them stop making excuses for them <laughs> Sometimes you tell a person that so and so, I really didn't appreciate it when you did X, Y, and Z on this particular day because blah, de, blah, de, blah. And it becomes a pattern. You keep telling them the same thing over and over again because they keep repeating the same mistake. They keep hurting you. They keep overstepping boundaries. They keep neglecting your love languages or what you require as a friend, as a partner, as a family member, yet you give it to them. If you constantly have to beg for respect and reciprocation, then it's time to just cut ties. Because that person doesn't respect you, they don't value you, and they've shown you time and again. With that said, hit me up in the comment section down below. Let me know if any of your loved ones has ever disappointed you in such a manner. What have they forgotten that is so meaningful to you to a point where you felt like, whoa, so and so, and so, that's what we're doing now? You, of all people, how did you react to that? Did you address it? Did you confront them? Did you cut them off? Or are they still in your life? If so, why? Why keep people who don't reciprocate your energy? Let's talk about it. Asante.